In this video I'm going to show you a quick and simple tip of how to check trademarks in bulk for hundreds of words in one go. So the website we're going to be using for this is TM Hunt and this is one that's quite well known in the print on demand space and for good reasons because it's free. It is way easier to use than the USPTO database and it can save you a lot of time by bulk checking for trademarks which I only realized recently when people started asking me about it but essentially on the side monitor I've got a long list of job titles uh, over 300 and they're in a spreadsheet they're like one job title per line I will now paste these into here and you can do the same with your words that you want to check for trademarks just hit search once you've done that and at the bottom you will see a lot of trademarks getting flagged up so if we scroll down right here you will quickly notice that it finds a ton of trademarks especially if you have hundreds of words in there but uh, to filter through this more easily we can come up right here where it says status and change this to live because those are the only ones that matter and the type we could also change um, for example the design type of trademark isn't really important whatsoever I'll show an example here lumberjack is trademarked and it's only in this specific design style. If you if you have a, a t-shirt aimed at lumberjacks and it's not copying this type of logo, then you're fine. Same with CPA or Porter, that's that type. We could change to text because that is the main important ones. Now, a lot of these are not even registered. So um, if it's not registered, it might become registered in the future, but it's not currently um, enforceable in a sense. So those ones are, are sort of worth watching if you were to enter these niches. Producer is the only one in our long list that is actually registered and that is a text trademark type. So if we clicked on producer, just to show you an example of how we'd go further into this, we are on the USPTO database now, the official entry. If we scroll down further, this is definitely live and registered. It has been since 2012. But if we open the goods and services tab, um, you'll quickly find that it is trademarked for clothing, namely pants. So it is specifically just trademarked for pants. It doesn't say t-shirts, it doesn't say tops or anything. So in this case, uh, from my understanding, you can use producer on your t-shirts and you're totally safe, you're totally fine to use it. If it states any, any product types that you use on Merch by Amazon, then it is not safe. Another few things to note about this trademark hunt website is that it has some help sections right here. So if I hide my face, if you click on help, you will get a few quick explanations that might help you out with understanding trademarks. It shows the well how the search functions work, the results, so what live and dead essentially indicates, um, and a quick explanation of that. And then the trademark types, which I find most interesting, because if we read this right here, it says that the text trademarks you're not allowed to use regardless of the form it appears in you can use whatever font whatever color it doesn't matter you cannot copy those the design trademarks are drawings illustrations etc and they protect that exact design which you're not allowed to duplicate so as long as you don't copy the design you're fine typeset is sort of in the middle typeset means that it is without standard character claim. The, the text ones have the standard character claim and you are usually allowed to use it as long as there's no intent to deceive the customers into thinking they're purchasing a product of that said brand. So if, if the word cat is trademarked and it's a typeset trademark, which is actually the case, I think, um, because there's like a um, company that produces machines that's called Caterpillar or whatever, or cat. If you don't, use the word cat with the intention of copying that brand and then making customers buy a branded product from you and you actually like most people using the word cat for the animal for a cat based t-shirt design then you're fine you can use the typeset one now i would be careful here because i think there's for example some typeset trademarks for nike or nike and I, I would definitely not use nike in my listing even though there's just typeset trademarks for that one but you know you have to kind of try and understand this, be smart with it. If there's a common word that's a types of trademark, it's probably fine. If it's a big brand name that's very well known, it's probably dangerous and then stay away from it. But the main ones that you need to watch out for are the text trademarks. Those are the most powerful and will most likely lead to rejections. If you struggle to understand how trademarks work and if you get a lot of rejections on your Merch by Amazon account, this video would help you out massively because it is my in-depth trademark and copyright guide with various examples and free tools to help you stay safe and stop getting rejections.